Hey, what's up, nerds? Paul at Radio Free Hammer Hall. I wanted to go over my Skaven list from Nova, and it's still my current Skaven list that I'm working with. So I wanted to go over the list, my thoughts on it, the experience, and kind of where I'm going from here. So, uh, just the basics of the list. Got two Grey Seers on Screaming Bell, both with the Death Frenzy spell from the Lore of Ruin. Uh, one is the general and has Master of Magic. Then I've got a Warlock Bombardier with more, more, more warp power. And I missed it on here, but he also has the Vigor Dust Injector. Uh, for battle line, I've got three units of 20 Clan Rats. Then the rest of the list, 40 Plague Monks, 40 Plague Monks, 9 Warplock Gisales. Suffocating Grave Tide and Warp Lightning Vortex for a total of 2,000 points. The Grave Tide really just got smashed in there because I figured that was more valuable than a Triumph. So, at Nova, I went 2 and 3 with this list, which was kind of disappointing. I think there were a couple of problems. Number one, this isn't, like, intuitively my play style of list. The more I kind of re-examine it and think, it, think about it, I think I've kind of figured it out, and I think it really is going to be my play style. Uh, I was just playing it incorrectly. I didn't have any experience with this list before bringing it to Nova. I've only had limited experience using Plague Monks as my hammer unit. Um, so there were a lot of things going against me here. And I just didn't have, I mean, I would say I didn't have enough reps with it. I mean, I didn't have enough reps with Skaven in general, but I had zero reps with this particular list before uh, bringing it to, you know, one of the biggest GTs in the country. So... I uh, definitely was on the back foot coming into this. So my wins, I had a win against Corn and a win against Chaos Dwarves. And then my losses, I lost to a, a Flesh Eater Quartz Blister Skin list. I lost to a uh, Zinch Zangor Heavy list. And I lost to a Stormcast list based around Gavriel. So, what kind of went right? What kind of went wrong? Um, I think the two Screaming Bells work really well. I definitely had trouble casting spells for some reason. Like, my casting rolls were just all bad. Um, I never really got off the Warp Lightning Vortex in a meaningful way. Um... I think, in general, I played far too aggressively, and I brought all of my units up the board a lot faster than I should have. Uh, in retrospect, now that I'm thinking about it more and seeing how everything works, I think the Plague Monks need to be played a lot more like old-school cavalry. And that is, you know, you hang them back, and you screen out in front of them, and once everything is teed up nicely for you, you make a big charge and you wipe something off the board. The Warp Lock Gisales were definitely highly effective. They are really designed to remove either big pieces or tough to crack units. Um, they definitely did a good job taking out monsters. They took out... Um, heavily armored large units very effectively so I really like those Gisales a lot in combination with Warpstone Sparks and more 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 Warp Power and the Vigor Dust Injector they can just do lots and lots of damage um, just tremendous amounts of damage Death Frenzy on the two Screaming Bells really targets the Plague Monks, and the idea there is to kind of get around the activation wars by simply having them attack when they die. And that also 
puts you in a position where they can potentially attack twice against a big unit, or they can, you know, kind of go with one unit and then they kind of de facto get two in a row when you charge both of them in in the same turn. So overall, I mean, I really like the list. I think the problem is mainly in how I was playing it and, you know, some rough luck on some dice rolls. Uh, my game against Stormcast was actually really close. Um, so I felt pretty good about that particular game. Uh, my game with Zinch was also pretty close. Um, it was closer, I think, than the score really uh, reflected at the end of the game. Um, I definitely played too aggressively in that game. One of the problems that I've been having, too, is positioning the Screaming Bells so that they're not in the way, but they're still in a useful place. They're on pretty big bases, so it's hard to get them where you want them to go. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, not overly complicated. I can't really go that much in depth on this, but I think I'm going to continue playing this list for now and see where I can take it. I really feel like I need to learn to play this list a bit better. It feels very good on paper. I like it a lot. Uh, there is just definitely a problem with being inexperienced with it and needing more practice. Um, and I think once I do get that practice in, it should get very good results. But for now, uh, my first real test run with it was at Nova and ended up going two and three, which was definitely a disappointing finish. But I had a great time anyway. It was a fantastic tournament. Uh, big thanks to all of the tournament organizers and the judges and everybody involved there. Definitely was a lot of fun. I learned a lot from the experience. And I think I'm going to be already playing this list much differently than I had previously. My initial response was, oh, well, this list is just not my play style. I don't know why I'm running a list like this. I need to run something different. Uh, and in further thinking about it, I think the answer is, no, I just need to think about this list differently and play it in a way that I'm comfortable with um, and play to that better. Anyway, I think that's about it for now. Just kind of my general thoughts on the list, what I'm currently running. This is what I ran at Nova, and that's it. I'll talk to you all later.